welcome to this very special episode of From the Helm with Marine Max. We have a very special guest today, and we're on yeah, an no. amazing yacht. We're here on an azimuth grande, 25 meter. And Kelly, tell us, who's with us today? Well, we have Federico Ferrante, president of Azimuth Benetti Americas with us today. How are you doing today, Federico? Can be better, thank you. Thank you for having me, and couldn't be a better location no, to, to meet you today. It's hard it's to have nice. a bad time aboard a, a 25 meter, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. No, Thank you very much for joining us. We absolutely. appreciate this. My I pleasure. Yep. Our, our guests who are tuning in have a lot of questions to ask. So and Yeah, and if it. you guys have any questions out there, um, anything that you want to ask Federico going through, we'll be on for about 30 minutes today asking any questions you may have and going through a lot of questions that we have that we want to know from mm -hmm. Federico. So uh, be sure to reach out, send in your comments, and uh, we'll get back to you. So Federico, why don't you just kind of start from the beginning? Uh, Azmit. So tell us a little bit about the history of Azmit and you know, where did you come from with Azmit? Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually very glad that we're doing this in January of 2019. Yes. So we scheduled it perfect because uh, when you mention the word history, history is actually what, what we are making. And this is the 50th anniversary for Azimut Yachts. So wow. uh, it's, it's an incredible year for us. We'll be full of uh, passion, events and news. And uh, if you think about the fact that uh, a single man, which is our beloved president, Mr. Paolo Vitelli, mm -hmm. uh, by himself, 50 years ago in 1969, uh, decided to buy 10 little 30-foot uh, Aloha mm -hmm. sailboat and start renting them. And from there on, step by step, uh, in a very humble but consistent and professional way, built basically the largest uh, marine industry manufacturing yeah. environment in the world. Even to me, uh, I'm celebrating my 19 years wow. with Azimut, and I've seen quite a bit in the past 19 years, but even to me, it's mind-blowing uh, what happened and how it happened, and uh, only dedication, passion, uh, proper ethic, and uh, and just love for what we do can get, get you where we are. So 50 years, is, is, is that's the history that we're celebrating this year. And it's, it's pretty incredible to see the history of Azimut, but also seeing the innovation when you look at some of the new boats. I mean, the, the history is incredible with the brand and 50 years in the industry. And then you're going and looking at the boats today. I mean, just the innovation that goes into these boats is, is just incredible. I mean, obviously the, looking around us here, it's uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful it's boat. It's the innovation com combined with the artwork of it too. Yeah, no, innovation for 50 years, as a matter of fact, because, you know, it's, it's a constant flow. Mm -hmm. But for 50 years, innovation has always been one of our first pillar, uh, always. Uh, we have been always an uh, innovator and we will always be innovators. So innovation is definitely one of the main elements of our DNA. And uh, major revolutions in the industry, joystick uh, driving, we mm -hmm. were the first one introducing uh, windows on the hulls. Uh, stabilization uh, with gyroscopic Seakeeper introduced and now every uh, manufacturer uses uh, mm -hmm. was introduced and so on and so forth. So wave piercers, you name wow. it, uh, carbon fiber extensively used and we can go on and on and on. And it's always the way. been, uh, you know, one of our main focus. So with your 19 years with Azimut, what's been one of your favorite innovations that you've seen come, come to fruition? But I would say, mm, I would put really the, the three which re revolutionized the industry. Uh, windows on the hull. Mm -hmm. uh, if you think about it before windows on the hull, the, hull, the, 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 the lower deck of boats was always kind of dark, kind of that place that you go only to sleep. And the enjoyment was more on the main deck and on the outside. Sure. And bringing instead so much light to mm -hmm. the lower deck uh, really gives uh, uh, the owners, friends and family uh, a complete new area to, to experience oh. with the light and actually sometimes of the day the best yeah. views are from a master cabin with a massive uh, frameless window and being so close to the water absolutely. like that you it's are just... at night you put a beautiful underwater light in the right position in the bahamas at night <laughs> at the anchor and you have a, a live aquarium right from your bed yep so that's i would say probably one of the three Joystick maneuvering uh, is definitely one which made everybody's life easy. I mean, well, uh, if there is something in boating which is sometimes a little challenging and affect our big egos a little bit, is the docking, <laughs> right? Yeah. Docking is where everybody's stomach contract a little bit. No matter how much experience you have, docking is always that. Uh, always. And joystick maneuvering, like, you know, that yeah. was uh, uh, definitely a revolution. And the third, uh, without a doubt, uh, stabilization. Stabilization and what we're doing with uh, now new kind of fins and uh, sea keeper on the smaller mm -hmm. boats. 
uh, no matter what you say, a human body is not designed to roll. And, and nobody makes... is comfortable when they roll. So eliminating the roll is a mission, if you think about it, to make the industry. I've heard a lot of families say we weren't boaters until you know we realized that you could stabilize a boat. So you've you've brought a lot of people that wanted to boat, but maybe they get a little motion sickness out there, and now they're they're boaters because they have a, a solution to that. Absolutely. So, so yeah, no stabilization is you know land is stable. So and human <laughs> beings are designed to be in land. So that's what we are trying to achieve. Definitely. So tell us a little bit about this boat. We're aboard the uh, the twenty five meter. Uh, from Azmit, and uh, tell us a little bit about this boat that we're sitting on, because obviously the people can only see from here to here, which that's a beautiful view in itself. But uh, you know, what is it about the 25 meter that attracts people? Thank you for asking again. A 25 meter, uh, yes, we introduced it last Can Boat Show, so it's a brand new model. And uh, right after we introduced this specific one at the International Fort Lauderdale Boat Show last month and a half uh -huh. ago in November. And uh, is a complete new design outside uh, uh, as well as inside. Is an, uh, a Stefano Regini design on the outside, mm -hmm. so our former iconic designer on the on the exterior lines, and is an Achille Salvagni design on the interior, mm -hmm. which is uh, again Achille Salvagni is one of the um, one hundred uh, top archi architectural digest designer in the world, and you can tell from every yeah. look at the, the details, the attention, the flow. Uh, how how soft and dynamic is the interior? Uh, it's 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 just you can tell it with everything you look. Uh, new feature uh, are the garage. You can mm -hmm. have a 340 Williams mm -hmm. in the garage as well as an extra toy on the swim platform, which holds a thousand pounds. So two toys in the transom. The largest flybridge in the industry. This one specifically is equipped with a beautiful jacuzzi tub and in the aft. You can't go can, wrong with that. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> and uh, another outstanding feature is the bow, which is a very versatile bench, which convert a huge sunbathing area into a beautiful seating area, which can be shaded with carbon fiber poles and yep. shade, and have a, it really is. A, uh, a social area in the bow is not, uh, you know, a tiny sofa with a tiny table. Is two large, comfortable sofas where six, eight people can sit comfortably and have a beautiful so. time at the anchor again with a beautiful breeze. So mm -hmm. it's an extra area you bring all uh, your friends. in the bow. And when you go inside, instead, uh, innovation on the 25 meter is given by privacy. Uh -huh. So it's a very luxurious uh, uh, boat. That's why we uh, decided to place it into our grand collection, which is the mm -hmm. most. Uh, you know the, the, our you know highest uh, of the five collection we feature and uh, separation between crew and uh, owner and guest uh, was the focus so the entire helm galley area yes. with some very mm -hmm. clever touches can be completely separated from the living spaces of the owners and the crew can go uh, to the technical spaces towards mm -hmm. the house from the outside uh, with the perfect flow which is technical mm -hmm. for them without never passing through the life of the owners mm -hmm. in the dining or living room if they want it. So uh, that's the interior. And then, of course, we have a day head, which in 25 meter, 83 feet, to translate it in our language mm -hmm. here sure. the, on this side of the pond. Uh, it's, it's kind of unique. Okay. Uh, very important to have a day head. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on the lower deck, a master full beam, a VIP, immense VIP in the bow, and then two guest cab in each one with his own end suite. We yep. have a great walkthrough with Federico over the shop. So you can yeah. see it all in detail. Yeah, we walked through the entire boat at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. And uh, if you want to see the whole video on this entire boat, I think we pretty much went through, well, it's hard to go through everywhere on this boat. I think we missed the engine room and crew quarters probably, but everything else we did pretty, yep. pretty well, I would yeah. say, yeah. Yeah, so check that out on YouTube and uh, and you can see the whole uh, walkthrough of the boat. And it sounds like audio is excellent again. So, uh, oh, so Federico. Thank you, everyone. And also don't forget, you can ask us questions and leave yes. your comments too. Yeah, any questions you guys may have for, for us, for Federico, be sure to reach out and, uh, and, and we'll answer them. So... Let's talk about the the process, the building process. Mm -hmm. I mean, a boat of this caliber um, or any of the Azimut mm -hmm. lineup. Um, tell us about the process that goes into it. But, well, the first the first uh, part obviously is the concept, which is done uh, uh, obviously uh, with our think tank, mm -hmm. if you if you mm -hmm. wish, uh, where we do involve actually key players and uh, which would be dealers in in the instance of uh, mm -hmm. Marine Max. Uh, Marine Max is deeply involved in the concept of uh, most of our models because of the you know knowledge mm -hmm. and magnitude and specific market and uh, then from the concept you have the we select the designers uh, which are more uh, you know adequate mm -hmm. for, for the product in this case for instance as i said it was beginning for the exteriors mm -hmm. and salvani salvani for the interior 
uh, we actually um, em not employ, but we use uh, um, eight uh, exterior designer mm -hmm. which focus on interior or exteriors depending on the collection. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then it starts the technical design uh, side where it's all done in house, and then uh, from there on uh, you have production. Mm -hmm. What is what is a feature of Azimut? is that uh, we have multiple production facilities uh, depending on the mm, need of the product. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, Avigliana, which is next to Torino. Torino is the Detroit of Italy. It's where <laughs> Fiat Auto is, is where okay. the most, uh, uh, the, 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 the automotive industry is located. So mm -hmm. all the suppliers, all the universities, mm -hmm. all the technical knowledge, the engineering, the materials, the research and development. All Torino is there. very, very fertile from that standpoint. Sure. And that's why mm -hmm. our factory for the smaller boats, up to 70 feet, is in uh, Avigliana, which is basically Torino, because can uh, take advantage of all the, that, that infrastructure. And then instead we move uh, down on the seaside for two reasons. One is the size of the boat, which can no longer move by, by uh -huh. truck. But the other is also that when you go bigger, uh, the products are much more customized. Oh, so yeah. you, you leave a little bit the industrial uh, world and you get much more mm -hmm. into the artisan mm -hmm. world and that's why we build the boats in uh, Viareggio, Livorno and Fano which are three very focal points of the Italian uh, yacht mm -hmm. manufacturing where instead there there is a much more an artisan mentality which mm -hmm. on product like this or customization and uh, uh, you know uh, different specification from one to the other is mm -hmm. much more frequent right mm -hmm. so that's Part of uh, one of the unique factor of the Azimut Benetti Group is that we adapted to what the country offers in terms of uh, skills of people, mm -hmm. definitely knowledge and, and infrastructures. And and is this something that um, you know, if there's a customer that's mm -hmm. wanting to go over to the factory uh, or one of the factories, is this something that they can do to kind of see the process or choose, you know, sit yeah. down with your team and, and kind of go through things? No. <laughs> everybody's everybody's like they're all what? closed at private <laughs> no actually this was another was another point that um, mr vitelli uh, had a vision because uh, back in the days the shipyards were a little rough yeah uh, including ours our first one where and um, there was never attention to the uh, company as far as the, 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 the structure. Okay. And that's where, again, his vision started, uh, I would say, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. It's when he, he understood that the yards are actually, can be a beautiful place, yeah. can be attractive. And people like me, you guys, and mm -hmm. everybody, which I, I'm sure is watching, which are passion for yacht and boats and boating. Okay. They can't wait to go in, in a no. shipyard and see how this thing is built. Exactly. They want to see behind they the scenes. They spend three days uh -huh. of their vacation time to go visit shipyards. And so from there, he started building beautiful shipyards. And our shipyards are actually beautiful. Mm -hmm. they are, they're pretty. They are industrial facilities. You uh -huh. know, fiberglass is laminated, the wood is cut, uh, screws are screwed, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of machinery, but they're pretty. Uh -huh. And uh, therefore, we definitely take a lot of our customers to our shipyards and we encourage them to come anytime they want. Mm -hmm. We have a process in place which is designed to host them also with the proper, you know, mm -hmm. uh, reception that uh, <laughs> this kind of level uh, requires. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, our shipyards, uh, I personally love them. We all as employees love them. They're beautiful and we definitely encourage everybody to to visit them. And so I'm yes, sure a lot yes, do. they are yeah. open. And, uh, so they are open really, if you're interested. If you're interested, uh, just let your dealer know, let Marie Max know, and uh, we will be happy. We coordinate it. We actually, Andrew Schneider and I, Andrew Schneider is the mm -hmm. brand manager for Azimut at Marie Max. So we coordinated no later than yesterday. In one day, we had a customer which was passing by Italy for mm -hmm. business. He wanted by. to pass by our Viareggio yard. He's an actually Azimut 80 owner. Mm -hmm. Andrew called me and we, you know, in, in three up. hours, uh, we arranged a pickup visit the shipyard, mm -hmm. visit all the production line, and he just sent us an email of thank, and he was amazed yeah. seeing a production line. But, you know, I understand it. I love it. And so, yeah, well, you know, the very, shipyards are definitely worth very, visiting. And Yes, wonderful. And if you're interested in, the, you know, looking and seeing some of the behind the scenes uh, of the Azimut shipyards over in Italy, I mean, be sure to touch, uh, get in touch with your Marine Max team members, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll, we'll make it happen. Yeah. That's a very unique experience for customers or people who are interested in Azimut. What other type of unique experiences do Azimut owners have? Well, you <laughs> want me to start? <laughs> um, but from our side, meaning uh, Marie Max, Azimut, our dealers mm -hmm. and uh, our network, uh, we, uh, I, I, I think that nowadays, uh, I don't want to sound cocky, but mm -hmm. I think our 
portfolio of uh, entertainment for our customer is second to none. Mm -hmm. The amount of events that between Marine Max mm -hmm. and Azimut together, Marine Max alone, Azimut, we put together for our customer is, is immense. There is a schedule that almost uh, every other week of the month we have something going There's on somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the summer wave, we now have the winter wave. Uh, we're going to have a rendezvous the weekend before the mm -hmm. uh, Miami Boat Show yeah. uh, yes. with Marine Max in Fisher Island. Mm -hmm. We had it in uh, Ocean Reef last year. We had it in Key West the year mm -hmm. before. We had the summer in Newport and Nantucket. It goes on and on. We have our gala. Last year was in Monopoly mm -hmm. in Puglia. Uh, this year is the 50th, as I said. So there will be celebration at every event, oh, even sure. more than ever before. So I would say the, the, the mm -hmm. sense of uh, uh, community. Uh, of people sharing the same mm -hmm. passion, having the same, uh, you know, desire in terms of where they and how they spend their yeah. free time with their family. Uh, we give them uh, probably the most opportunities than anybody else in the industry. Yeah, that's and, fantastic. And it's, I mean, you know, see, I've been to some of these events, and I mean, just it, the amount of people that show up, they, you know, oh. they, they're booked. I mean, I it's, uh, the, the the event, uh, the Marie Max event, the Winter Marie Max event last year was uh, almost 250 people, 240. Two mm -hmm. people, if I remember correctly. Our gal in Monopoly was almost 800 people. Jeez. So, uh, still, they are, they are boutique. Mm -hmm. So, don't get oh, me yeah. wrong. They're yeah. not massive. Obviously, is always in line mm -hmm. with what mm -hmm. we do, what we sell, and the, 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 the lifestyle of our customers. But, yeah, the response is, is incredible. And it's growing, which is the signal you want. Because if an event goes up in numbers, that means that people like it. They They're talk to a somebody time. else which missed it. Then they don't want to miss the next one. They bring mm -hmm. their friends. And so, yeah, no. And you see a lot of people that, you know, they've been there uh, for year. They want to come back to these events. Mm -hmm. they, they're having so much fun at some of these events that, you know, for year after year, they'll come back and experience it again and again. Look, I bet you if we start doing patches, which is uh, as <laughs> That's a good idea. 2016, 17, yeah. 18, 19, 10, 10, 10, they, we will sell them. And you yeah. will see some like bracelets, too. You'll I definitely see some yeah, bracelets. Yeah, yeah. That was another, actually. That was Andrew Schneider. I give you, we, we need to give him credit. <laughs> mm -hmm. The bracelet was Andrew Schneider. He made a different bracelet for every event and he carried them all yep. so he yep. almost looked like a Maasai from Africa you know, that, <laughs> the, the yep. 15 bracelet. he has them all yeah, yeah. 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 so the events are definitely so, a fun way to be together mm -hmm. and the boats that they bring to the events let's talk about the lineup for Azimut yeah. um, there's a lot of collections as you'd like to call them too and um, you know talked about uh, the differences between the different collections for Azimut. Um, you said we have only 30 minutes I can't I really feel like we're already going over time. <laughs> but, uh, High level. So collection now jokes apart uh, we have uh, five collection right now and one special series so this is again another factor that along among with uh, the Benetti mm -hmm. because again we are the Azimut Benetti mm -hmm. group so this is the only mm -hmm. yacht manufacturer in the entire world which build boats from 34 feet to 330 feet and anything in between. 34 to so, 300 yeah. we, plus, we have, 300 So plus. we don't have to forget that our Benetti brand is part of the same group. Uh -huh. We share a lot of the knowledge, we share a lot uh -huh. of the technology, a lot of the investment that we, we can afford to make in the Benetti product, uh -huh. wherever it makes sense, then can come down on the Azimut product, uh -huh. which is something that nobody else can do. There are certain uh, classification, registration, vibration analysis, noise, and so on and so forth that don't sure. make sense to apply a smaller product versus our specific or bigger uh -huh. products once you make the investment you have that knowledge why not taking it oh, down yeah. so that's how we make our product in the lower range uh, better now going into the azimut yachts brand of the azimut benetti group we have as i said five collection one special series for a total of 24 different models which are so different uh, from each other which is really i mean I, if you like boating unless you uh -huh. want to sail on your boat uh, but then it's impossible that uh, a builder can find the product for him uh, within the Azim of the Arts range. So we have the Magellano collection, mm -hmm. more sturdy, uh, a little bit more sensitive in the fuel consumption, uh, longer range, uh, a little bit more room for volume uh -huh. than you get on the S, which is the exact opposite. Sure. Same sizing, uh -huh. but the exact opposite, very fast, IPS proportion, uh, you know, more, more, uh, if you wish, young and sexy. Yeah. Uh, then you have the Flybridge, which is our flag uh, uh -huh. collection, which, uh -huh. uh, you know, offers a combination of both. Uh, our Atlantis. Uh, collection, which is the sporty line, a more entry level, if you wish. We start at 34 feet with that, and we get mm -hmm. to 51 feet. 
51, which we have just introduced, double IPS, the funnest, the most fun boat to ride oh, yeah. uh, I've ever been on. The 51 yep. Atlantis is something just spectacular Blast. between the interior, the sporty, the, the, the green aspect of the synthetic mm -hmm. teak. It's, it's really a great, great model. And then we have the special series, our Verve. Yeah. which uh, is a 40 feet now, triple mm -hmm. uh, Mercury Verado, mm -hmm. uh, 350. So again, some innovation. Yes. Nobody was expecting to make a, yeah. a, you know, a, you know, a weekend there, we call it, without, without board, and we did, and it's doing very well. And as a matter of fact, very exciting. Next season, we will have a 47 okay. uh, Verve coming out, which Ooh. is going to be spectacular. Michael you heard it here first. <laughs> Michael Peter Design, Step Hall. I mean, I'm telling you, the boat to, to look for is the Verve 47. And last but not least, uh, the Azimo Grande collection, which Where starts at 25 uh -huh. meter and mm -hmm. goes all the way up to 35 meter. And uh, that uh, is the collection that, uh, uh, you know, has more uh -huh. custom approach, uh -huh. is, is, uh, is the collection which the most get from our Benetti mm -hmm. brand, uh -huh. right? Most influence get yes. from the Benetti brand. So yep. it's really it's five collection, a special series, as I said, from 34 and the azimuth range for 34 uh, feet, which is 10 meters, uh -huh. to 35 meters, which is 116 feet. So and, and everything in between. If you guys are interested in any of these, uh, this collection, uh, we've done videos, I think, on with you even, Federico, mm -hmm. on the Several, 35 yeah. and in the uh, in a lot of di different models. So be sure to check yes. up marimax.com and you can see the whole lineup of Azimut yachts. Um, and also on our YouTube channel, we have uh, walkthroughs and in-depth looks at a lot of the models that he was just referring to. Yes, so. so we've been talking about the different lines, the different models and how they differ. There's also, and we also talk about owners and what their unique experience is. When you combine that all together, we also have the peace of mind warranty. Can you oh, talk a little yeah. bit about what that is and how that provides extra benefit to owners? Yeah, no, that, thank you for reminding me that. That's a very, very good mm -hmm. point. Uh, yeah, we have, uh, uh, we put together a special program, which as far as uh, the Marine Max unit are concerned, comes with every boat uh, purchased through Marine Max, mm -hmm. uh, which basically, we, we really decided to call it peace of mind because that's what it is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it basically what it does is it extends the legal warranty coverage, which is 12 months uh, mm -hmm. in the Americas, from 12 months to 36 months. So triplicate the coverage mm -hmm. of uh, the, the, the time coverage of, of warranty. So that gives really gives the peace of mind to the owner that for three years, uh, any if there is anything mm -hmm. uh, going wrong on the boat, not supposed to, is going to be covered by us and assisted by our uh, terrific uh, dealer network. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as I said, uh, one of the re one of the multiple reasons why we decided to uh, mm -hmm. you know, the partnership with Marine Max is service. Service is a it's crucial big. point mm -hmm. for for this kind of product. They're very complex. Uh, it's like a, a mansion floating mm -hmm. in a fluid at thirty knots. It's so, yeah. and, and offering all the comfort. So, uh, you know, it's, it's complex product. There's a lot going on, three different kind of electrical power and we can go on and on and on. So service is important. And through Marine Max, mm -hmm. uh, 62 stores through the country, uh, you know, and the peace of mind uh, warranty offered by us, we think that, again, there is no better uh, way to stay close to the customer, also from a technical standpoint. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. So peace of mind, again, extend the warranty coverage mm -hmm. from 12 to 36 months, and it comes with every boat purchase. Uh, from Marine Max up to 72 feet. Okay, fantastic. So, I mean, you can basically relax knowing that you're taken care of and you're not going to find anything like that elsewhere. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, this is I mean, no, don't get me wrong, there is a third party warranty that you can <laughs> buy. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. and uh, they're offered on the market. But uh, we believe that uh, a warranty provided by the manufacturer, mm -hmm. uh, who more than us care about our customers. You know, mm -hmm. the manufacturer is the mother and the customer are the kids. I mean, there is no, no, no one yeah. like your mom takes care of you. So <laughs> peace of mind is the warranty coming from us. Mm -hmm. And sure. uh, we care the most. Uh, we don't really, uh, you know, we don't have, uh, we don't cut corners. Yeah. Well, also, um, be sure to tune in after this. Um, we're going to be walking through with Federico a few of the, the really cool features of this 25 meter. We're going to focus on a few of the things that really just blow you away about this uh, particular boat. So uh, after this live viewing, we're going to do a couple little videos that kind of showcases a few mm -hmm. different spots. I know you always like the engine room, so I thought maybe we could show the engine room. Yeah, engine room. we haven't shown it yet. Yeah. A lot so. of horsepower down here. 3,600 horsepower just under your feet. 3,600 horsepower. Mm -hmm. So wow. we have um, a very important event coming up, too. Yes. Miami Yacht Show. Miami Yacht Show. Just another right around the corner. 
Thank you, thank yes. you, because this is a very important point from a logistic standpoint. Mm -hmm. Miami Boat Show this year is changing yes. and is no longer uh, on Collins Avenue. Nope. We're Don't, go to Collins. Yeah, do not. Don't go to Collins. I know it's beautiful, but I'm sure there will be people going to Collins. Uh, what is going on? Oh. <laughs> Did I miss the week? No, yes. it's no longer on Collins. It's been moved to the MacArthur Causeway, mm -hmm. uh, closer to the NMMA show in Virginia uh -huh. Key. So now the two shows are very close to each other. There is connection from one to the other yep. through, through the water, water taxi. taxi. Uh, so, but yeah, very important. Uh, the Miami show is uh, in, in a new location, which is actually, I, I, I've been working on it with, uh -huh. uh, with Informa for the past year and a half. It's been a very challenging <laughs> year and a half from sure. that standpoint but is as as all the elements to become uh, exponentially better than it was on, mm -hmm. on, on, on Collins. So the area is going to be fantastic. They're going to be, you know, even the art show on the side is going to be much bigger. And we have a very prime location just at the entrance on the south side. Uh, we have a lot of water. Our display is going to be the same uh, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. our customers are, are used to see. Uh, we're going to have 18 boats uh, on display. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, but the location is new. So make sure that you check online and look for the address. Don't go on Collins. Yeah. It's on next to the MacArthur Causeway in Excellent. Miami Beach. Are there any models that you would highlight that you're gonna have Excuse me, there? Miami City, not Miami Beach. <laughs> My mistake, Miami <laughs> City is, the Causeway go to Miami Beach, but yes. it's not in Miami Beach. Yep. Yes, just north of downtown from what I understand. Correct, downtown Miami, thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> any models that you would highlight that are gonna be at the show? Now, at the show, we have a brand new 30 meter, which mm -hmm. is actually shipping from Italy uh, next week. Uh, incredible design. Uh, Andrew Schneider again did an amazing job with our uh, style team uh, in uh -huh. Italy, and uh, I've just seen pictures of the of the boat and uh, because it's finished uh, uh -huh. now and it is amazing. So the thirty meter will be uh, a brand new boat coming from from Italy uh, for the show. We will have these twenty five uh -huh. meter and then the entire range. As I said, we have the Verve, the 43 Atlantis, the 51 mm -hmm. Atlantis, mm -hmm. the Flybridge collection from the 50 uh, to the 72, the S collection, mm -hmm. we're going to have the 77S, another amazing product of the S collection, S6, S7, uh, Magellano, oh. the so entire the Magellano, lineup. 43, yeah. 53, 66 Magellano. Mm -hmm. So as I said, uh, we're really missing probably a couple of models, uh, but the entire range will be there. Waiting. So and I mean, uh, we will have also a little display at an MMA true. show yes. mm -hmm. where we're gonna feature a Verve yep. as well. So the Verve will mm -hmm. be on both displays. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a 43 and a 51 Atlantis will be at an MMA. Uh, okay. Show. okay. So whomever is more into maybe smaller boats or more water toys mm -hmm. and so on and so forth, which will visit the MMA show, there will be an Azimut display there featuring a Verve, a 43 and a 51. Okay. That's nice. fantastic. So you have the MMA show, that's the one that's on Virginia Key. Correct. Miami International Boat Show. And then the Miami Yacht Show, which is in its new location, just north of downtown Miami, where we'll have the full display with 18 models. Correct. Okay. It's, I got it. Yeah. I'm yeah. ready. I'm going yeah, to Miami. It, it's confusing. It's confusing, but this mm -hmm. year is probably going to be, we really hope it's going to be much better than mm -hmm. past years. I've we're, heard we're, really we're good We're far things. away, so the logistics this year are better, the shows are closer, so they're two different shows, but... A lot, there will be a lot of boats on display. I mean, it's, it's impressive. And it's Nothing your opportunity to step aboard uh, one of the latest models of Azimut. And of course, you can always check them out here at the beautiful Marie Max Pompano Yacht Center too. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so we wanted to maybe uh, get a few comments. Uh, have there been any comments? We have Carla behind the camera here today. So thank you, Carla, for helping us you. out. My pleasure, my pleasure. Yeah, we have quite a, quite a few, few people asking questions. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer, Joe, Sarah, Landon, Andrea, Roberto. One of the questions Landon is asking is, Federico, what got you started in this business and what do you think is the biggest differentiator between Azmit and other leading brands? Good question. Oh, well, what got me started is, is actually fun. Uh, funny because uh, it's really passion and it all started from windsurf, believe it or not. So my okay. first boat was... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, an 85 liter volume and 2.6 meters uh, windsurf board. And then from there on, I went into sailing. I crossed the Atlantic twice on a sailboat, big sailboat, 78 feet. So it wasn't, I wasn't a hero on my own. <laughs> but still, it was, it was an yeah. hey, outstanding a experience. And from there on, passion, passion from, for, for the ocean. I'm from Milan, which is fog, rain, work. 
<laughs> so it's, it's a very, very, very cool city in Italy, but kind of boring from, from a nature perspective. It's a, it's a concrete jungle. And I guess I was a rebel to that and I embrace uh, the, the seaside and then from there on, here I am. As a matter of fact, I end up living in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was a path. Written. Yeah. It could be. And uh, what differentiates Azimuth uh, from, uh, from the rest? Uh, number one, I say the people. The people of our company and our dealers, uh, which match each other. So people, definitely number one. And then once you get more into pragmatic uh, stuff, uh, again, the variety of the product, no one else. Five collection, one special series, mm -hmm. 24 mm -hmm. models. And the, the size of the company combined with the attitude of the company. So we are now the, the show, the, the Board International mm -hmm. uh, classification just came out. We are again uh, the, the largest uh, yacht manufacturer in the world, but we still have uh, again the, the, the Paolo Vitelli mm -hmm. um, understatement attitude. So we don't want to be cocky, we listen. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's what we do, I would say, the most. We, we want to be in every market. We decided to distribute the product through dealers because we want to listen. And uh, no, nobody better than you know what your customers in your areas need from my product. And, and I need to listen to you, which you are their messenger. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so we are big and successful, but humble, I hope. Yeah. Great. And great question. Uh, do we have any other questions that we can go? Where can I tour an Azimut yacht? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Everywhere in the world, just just reach out, go online. I would say, go online on our website. There is a, a the, the typical area where the map of the world, and in there you're gonna see the list. We have 63 dealers uh, in 63 different countries in the world, so it really depends uh, where. And if instead you are from an area that uh, uh, is not covered, then reach out uh, to uh, to us directly, and we'll be happy to to make it happen. And of course, if you're here in the U.S., come on down to your local Marine Max, we'll get you taken care of. Okay, well, thank you for all the comments and letting us know who's been joining us. We've had a great time today, and thank you for answering all these questions. We've appreciated all of your time. It's been amazing. I think oh, we could go pleasure. on for hours talking Azimut. Um, you know, there's so much to cover. I, do. I, don't know know if, I don't know if it's, I'm too boring for the, I for don't the think spectators, so. but no. yeah, no, we can definitely go. It's 50 years of history. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it takes it takes few few lessons and a couple of books. Yeah. <laughs> so we can do it again if you want. Yeah, Another topic. Should. Yeah, and definitely. And we appreciate you coming here today. I mean, uh, you're always in the area too, and unless you're in Italy or somewhere else in the world. So thank you very much for coming on from the helm. Mm -hmm. And uh, be sure to see him at the Miami Yacht Show uh, or uh, the Miami, Miami International Boat Show. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, if you have any questions, even after this is streamed, uh, be sure to reach out. Put your comments in the comments section, and we'll uh, we'll get back with you. Yeah. Otherwise, we will see you next month for From the Helm. We'll again be at the Miami International Boat Show, Miami Yacht Show. We'll probably take some time to go to the Azimut booth, spend some I'm time there. I'm sure we'll there. catch up with Federico a yeah. few more times. So, I'll be there. <laughs> we will see you next month, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Thank you, and thank you, Marie Max. <laughs>